Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our rounding version of the uh, High Mission Math game. Okay, when you first start the game, um, you'll see this menu here, and you can turn the sound on and off here uh, by clicking this the little speaker button, and you can also do that during the game. I'm going to go ahead and keep that off for the for the uh, video. Now, if you click on instructions, it'll give you a quick overview on how to play uh, the written instructions. And I'm going to go over that, so let's just skip through that. Let me turn that sound back off again. Um, the walkthrough will take you to this video that you're watching now. More games will take you to our website, and a launch will go ahead and launch the game. Now, when you first, the option of the game is to defeat all the bosses, and uh, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But let me just give you a quick overview on how to play. And your health is down here for your jet. You've been thrown into the future, and you've got these enemy missiles, high-tech missiles that are attacking you. Now, this the ones that you just saw circling, you don't really have to. They're kind of a, no, a nuisance, but you don't really have to worry about them. They never really do any damage. But um, these, the green ones, will attack you and run into you and take away your health. Also these things down here, I'm going to go ahead and shoot those. Now the way you shoot, you notice I'm just moving the cursor around. And it will only fire when there's an enemy within range. And here's here's the the missiles that rockets that really you don't have to worry about. They never hit you. They just kind of circle around. Now these guys are pretty bad. Now to move, I'm just going to go ahead and press the left mouse button. And if I put it over the aircraft and click on it, it stops. Pull it far away, it goes as fast as it can. And that's the control portion of it. Now I'll show you how to, we're going to play uh, uh, the rounding portion, which you're going to have to, uh, you'll, you'll do rounding, rounding to the nearest 10 or rounding to the nearest 100 to get uh, uh, money to buy upgrades, which you'll purchase here. Now when we first started, there wasn't this uh, boss arrow, but after a few seconds, it shows uh, it shows up and it tells you where the boss is. I'll start heading that way because um, I'd like to see I'd like you to see the how to defeat the first boss, and I'm, I maybe we'll be able to do it first time. We'll see. But um, before I really can attack the boss, well, that was pretty tough. There took down my health a little bit. Um, before you can defeat the boss, um, you will need to get upgrades. Right now, you're you'll need to upgrade your gun. And the way you're going to do that is you'll, okay, there we go, right there. In one of these cases there, I'm going to clear a path through there. And it says fly over to hack. And let's go ahead and clear these guys out. And go ahead and I'm going to fly over it. And once you do that, you have three um, rounding questions you need to uh three rounding numbers you need to round and in this case it says round to the nearest 10 and we'll get $632 reward. Now sometimes the reward will be um, health and that's good too if you're low on health but in this case it's money and we're going to certainly need that to buy some upgrades before we can take on the boss. So the way this works is now I click here to answer a problem but if I, did, if I had not clicked the first uh, clicked on any of them it would fill in the first answer uh, when I entered the number. So saying round to the nearest 10, 92 rounds to, click 90. Now to get to the next problem, I do this one, 79 rounds to 80. Let's go ahead and put 82 in there. And if since that's the wrong answer, I'm going to go ahead and click clear. And now I can do 80. 97 rounds to 100 and if I want to change any of them I can do that I can go back up here and clear that but I'm going to go ahead and put that back in now when I choose accept it will show me in this case it should show me all three answers are correct and I'll get the money if there are any are wrong it'll show have an X byte and show you which one's wrong I'm going to kind of head I uh, ran in you notice it took some health away when I ran into that wall there so you don't want to do that either Really, anything other than a case, you don't want to run into. And there's a there's a money box. Some sometimes you'll see one of those, and you can run in those. But everything else, you pretty much want to stay away from. Let's go ahead and click over that. Uh, 
Now here's round of the nearest 10. You gotta be careful because sometimes you can see round of the nearest 100. Uh, the reward's $850 and 146 rounds to 150. And what's nice is the game stops in the background. There's nothing really going on at all. So you're perfectly safe. You can take all the time you want to round these numbers. And let's see if we got that one right. Got those. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this guy and do an upgrade. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is buy. Tell you how much the cost is down here. And I don't have enough money for that, so I'm going to go ahead and exit because that's really what I need. Uh, speed's good, and you will need that. Turning rate's good, but you can't really defeat the boss uh, unless you got a lot of power. And again, there's a these okay. Those red ones, those those are you got to watch out for. These little black ones that run around, you don't have to worry. But I do like to get rid of them because it's a little bit distracting. My health is. I got to watch my health, but you know I may. Uh, die and show you uh, I have my plane uh, okay there we go if I do uh, these guys gotta get away from him if you do see that uh, I mean if I do lose all my health and my plane crashes I'll start over and I'll keep what's nice about it is I'll keep my upgrades uh, but I won't uh, but I have to start over as far as where I am in the boss and everything in relation to the boss and everything. Now these, let me get away from that. You can see those are uh, what's coming off screen. You can shoot them and they're coming from these cannons and they're pretty tough. Uh, it's taking my health down. I may actually crash right here. If so, yeah, okay. So I will respawn and let me go show you the upgrades. I still have my upgrade, so that's good. It just took away my money. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and concentrate on defeating the boss now and maybe not talk so much. And you can see what the boss looks like and how you defeat it. And it shouldn't take me a couple of minutes maybe to do that. I am going to try to get a little bit more upgrades because I might need them for health later on. Now, the yellow mines right there, if you watch, when I shoot those, it shoots out a missile. You gotta be careful of those. Let me get some. There we go. Round in there is 10. That's gonna be 10. 65 goes to 70. And this is good because you notice this is a little bit different. The reward is to repair the ship, which I do need right now. So be careful and accept all those. And my ship is repaired. I'm gonna head towards the boss. Hopefully I'll pick up some money along the way. And so I can defeat him and probably need to buy some speed too because now there's that. Go ahead and get that. My speed is pretty slow and I'll have a hard time getting away from him. This is money $1,130, which would be helpful. 100, 0, 40, and let me click that 70. Except, and I'm going to go straight to the upgrades. Upgrade my gun. Oh, I don't, okay, I got, um, because I have respawned, I lost my money, so I only have 1,272, so I'm going to have to build that back up, <coughs> which is fine. There we go, there's another one, that's good. And this is eight, 480, not as much, but still, it'll put me over money I need to upgrade the gun, I believe. And maybe my speed a minute, a little lovely, let's go ahead and... And the next thing I'm going to do is speed because I will need to use it to get away from the go boss. And I can probably go after the boss now. Might want to go in a little bit of extra money to, for health. So I'll go ahead and pick up that one. And I've got to get, as soon as I get out of this, uh, except the uh, numbers, I've got to get out and take care of that guy. Rounding the nearest 10. Right here, and like that. Go ahead and turn right. That'll help a little bit. And and I'm pretty much uh, let's see if I repair. Go ahead and t see if I can take on the boss. Actually, that's easy one there. And 60. This one rounds to 90. This one rounds to 30. And I'll have me a little bit. Uh, I think that was money. I have me a little bit of extra money for when I attack. 
when I get near the boss, I'm like, yeah, that guy's coming in. F first boss isn't really too bad. Oh, there he is. Okay. I'm going to get rid of those guys. Stay away from him. I'm trying to stay a safe place where all those cannons aren't. Can't get me. So I'm going to fly around here. You notice his health at the bottom of the boss is going down. I'm going to fly around here where it's kind of safe. And I should. His health is going down. Oh, yeah, I'll be able to beat it. Woo. Okay, I got him. And now, see all those jewels I pick up will give me money. And you didn't see it, but uh, there was a checkpoint there I ran over that will, if I, uh, if, if I, my plane loses all its health and I have to respawn, then um, I've already got the first boss. It'll start at that point after I just got the first boss. So that works out well. Let's accept this. And let's stop here. I'll see what we can do on upgrades. I think I can buy more. Okay, now I can, because I defeated the first boss, I can buy, buy more gunpowder. Of course, it's, I don't have enough money. This is $4,050. You notice also, eventually, I'm going to be uh, uh, able to unlock the energy shield, the defense laser, and attack laser. So that looks pretty good. So, anyways, um, that's a fun game. I, I hope you guys... Uh, uh, have fun playing it. It's a, it's a fun way to practice and reinforce your uh, rounding skills and we do have different versions so check back if you like this and check out our other versions. I hope this uh, video helps some and thanks for watching.